man. What's up, YouTube, man? Look. This video right here don't deserve no intro, man. I ain't gonna say a lot to you. Cause if you ready to try, you know it's something serious. It's, it's about to get real. Just know it's about to get real. But look. If you don't know who I am, my name is Jaquel, man. Welcome to the Gaines family, bro. Follow us on our uh, social medias. If you like this video, give this video a thumbs up. If you don't like it, give it a thumbs down. It is what it is. I don't care if y'all don't like it or not. But I'm gonna, this, this, this right here is the truth, man, about your favorite YouTuber, man. But look, before I start getting receipts and showing y'all proof and text messages and call logs and all that stuff, I'm just going to go ahead and give the back story of how I even discovered this young man. So, by the title, if y'all don't know who I'm talking about, I'm talking about your boy DJ, bro. Your boy DJ, bro. Is, is, is he a cool dude, man? Let me say this. Before before this little, you know, nonsense does happen, he a cool dude. Uh, he might be half y'all, if not all y'all favorite YouTubers or whatever. But, you all know this, man. He live in Atlanta, or wherever the case might be. He live out here where I live at. And uh, how I discovered this man, actually one day um, when me and Jai first started back up on YouTube, uh, we was living at, uh, y'all all knew, we was living parents at the time. So we were living with the parents at the time and stuff like that. And uh, Jai was really just just, just scroll, scrolling through YouTube where I guess looking for YouTube that stay in Atlanta so we can you know, link up with them and do a little collabs or whatever. So she uh, discovered a uh, DJ or whatever. And she told me about DJ or whatever. At first, I was I really wasn't rocking with her because you know I don't I don't really care for you know music or whatever like that. But anyways, she she showed me DJ or whatever, and then at this time he was with BJ, say, um, BJ D, yeah BJ say, uh, RG, um, and all the other folks. So at this time he's doing anything, you know what I'm saying? He was lit, you know what I'm saying? He was a lit YouTube. I like this style, you know what I'm saying? I like, you know, how he carries himself or whatever. You know what I'm saying? So I started watching him, you know, probably like a couple of weeks after uh she had shown me that whatever. And I you know you know I, I like this content or whatever. So you know I subscribed to his little channel, started watching his little videos every you know, every blue moon or whatever. Cause at that time, like I said, we was working on our channel trying to at least get to a thousand at this time we wasn't even out a thousand subscribers. We was at probably like barely I'm gonna say 600 subscribers at this time. So, and on top of that, we would we didn't even have a camera. We were recording off our phones and stuff like that. So, but anyway, I started watching Mans or whatever, and I had DM him a couple skin if we can link up. You know what I'm saying? Or not even link up, like if he do promos, you know, you know, stuff like that, whatever. And he would never respond back, obviously, because you know that would I guess big YouTubers do nowadays, whatever. But anyways, so. I be down on talk about yo, what's up? You know what I'm saying? Like, you doing promos? How much a 24 hour promo is? And this, that, and the third. He respond back. He send me like a little list of his price range, or whatever. All right, this how much my promo is going. This how much it is. This how you know, whatever. So I like, all right, bet. So on this particular day, actually May 7th to be exact, um, he had posted on his Instagram story, uh, saying, hey. I miss your promo, uh, DM me again, and I got you, whatever. So I'll let, all right, babe, let me go ahead and shoot this man a DM real quick and stuff and see how much how much you'll do for a promo. So I did it. So this is what I wrote. I wrote, how much for 24 hours, right? That was, that was at, that was on May 7th at 1245 when I wrote how much for 24 hours. Now, on the same day at 218, he responded back, 64 raids, 104 in videos, shout outs, shout out, 84 community, wait, hold on, he said 64 raids, 104 videos, shout out, on shout out, 84 community page, for IG story, he like, he was like that, so boom, I like, alright, bet, so I wrote back, 80, 82 get posted on your page for 24 hours, he was like, on IG or YouTube, I was like, you know, both is possible, possible, whatever, and he responded back, all right, best. So I got two different ways, two different ways I can post you on YouTube, community page, or Ray, which is a 30 second vid, and I post on my channel. Talk about speak, talk about his channel though. So I was like, all right, no. Then he wrote back again. I keep the community tab up for a week, cause that's how I normally do it. But both, but then he wrote again. He was like, but both, I will fuck with you on 200. 
for two hundred dollars. So let me go show you that when I'm. Uh, let me go ahead and show you that. Boom! As you can see, that's his real page right there. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, that's that's the little conversation we had or whatever. You can see when I said how much for the twenty four hours, and then that's his little response back with it. Let y'all see that for a minute. So after after he wrote all that or whatever, I was like, all right, bet. Then he wrote again. He was like, if you just want to raid him, raid and IG, I got you for one fifty. I responded back, all right, bet, bet. So shit, let's go with the raid and the community community page deal. And also, how much you willing to charge for collateral? I have hella ideas for your page and my page if you down with it. Then he was like, I collab for three hundred dollars, but I see you in the land. I just started a little YouTube. I started a little. I started a little YouTube label though, bro. And I basically finna be doing videos and running shit up with people that signing. If you got hella ideas, we can make up a contract and link and chop shit up about future plans and ideas. And then he responded back, the one fifty one though? Question mark. So at this time, I was like, all right, bet, do do cool, whatever. I was like, all right, so shit. He said he wanna collab for three hundred. I'm gonna do the little collaboration for three hundred, but that's gonna be a little later on down the line. But I'm gonna go ahead and do the one fifty deal he wrote for the raid, uh, the raid and the community, the community page. I guess had put us on our community on his community page or whatever for twenty four hours or wherever the case. I don't know, but boom, I right, like. Hell yeah, bro! After you, bro, after you sent the the one fifty one. Oh, hold on, I'm tripping, I'm tripping. Let me show y'all. Let me show y'all these messages real quick. Uh, well, let me show y'all these messages. You get me? So these are the messages between me and DJ now. These are the other little messages. That long paragraph. You get me? So. I thought bro was cool, man. That 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 dude, he really he really living up to, you know what I'm saying? That that that, that slime mafia or whatever. But guess what, bro? You that ain't, that ain't what's up, bro? Cause according to you, you getting money. You getting you know all this money on YouTube. Do what what? You know what I'm saying? If you needed a 150 for whatever you needed a 150 for, you could have asked, bro. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? You could have asked, but I would have probably not give it to you, but. Still, bro, you could have said, hey, bro, you got 150 I can hold. But anyways, so um, after you wrote the the 151 question mark, I responded back, hell yeah, bro, would you sign like a couple YouTubers? Because obviously, obviously y'all, this is a couple channel. Or is it a only like single person YouTubers? Like if I only have my own separate channel. And I was like, and yes, sir, the 150 deal. He responded back, the people I'm working with now is a duo, so yeah, that would be fine. But bet, you got cash up? And I responded back, hell yeah, so shit, I came, I said, hell yeah, so shit, how can we get signed by you? Like, what do, what all do we have to do basically to show and prove to you that we really mean business and we trying to take this YouTube series just like a million and one other people trying to take series. But just like them. We really working. We really trying to. We really trying to. You know, be something serious, bro. Like me and Josh trying to become Beyonce of YouTube or whatever the case might be. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But no, look. So I'm gonna go ahead and show y'all. Show y'all these messages right here. Uh, all right, y'all already seen them. All right, so boom. That when I wrote. That when he wrote the 151, and then boom. So y'all can see all the messages. Just all the real messages. You know what I'm saying? We'll do more at the web. And then y'all can see, oh, I know. by the way, the little timestamp. I don't know y'all can see the timestamp, but yeah. That's all the messages right there. So, boom. I was like, hell yeah, you know, answer this question, whatever, about the cash app. Uh, and then he sent me his cash app name, that's when I sent my number to him. And I said, I'm going to let y'all read that for a little bit. But anyway, so I saw my number, so I was like, all right, bet 100 emoji, uh, saw my number to him. Then I wrote back, and all right, I'm about to send it now. I'm talking about the 150 or whatever. He was like, copy. Uh, then, uh, so I went on Cash App, searched his little name or whatever, and I wrote this. I was like, this you, bro? This you? Talk about the Cash App name. Let's click the Cash App. That wasn't him. That wasn't his Cash App or whatever. So I was just making sure if that was him or not. 
he was like, nah, he was like, add the 97, and he signed his cash out name again. He was like, OMG DJ 97. I was like, alright, bet, I found him. So this is when I sent the 150 to him. So that's when I sent the uh, 150 to him. Then he was like, copy. He wanted a Pacific video promoted, promotion, or just the channel. I was like, channel be cool, bro. And then I wrote back again. But shit, here's my number, you know. My number, whatever. Hit me up tonight and shit, we, so we can talk business. He was like, for sure, I'm finna text you. I'm finna text you right now. That's what he said. Oh, it's not my number. Again. But yeah, that's what he said and stuff like that. But, um, so I, I'm gonna go ahead and go to the messages now. So he hit me up. He hit me up. Where's his number at? He hit me up. As you can see, I got his number. I'm a DJ. He hit me up. He was like, it's DJ. Lock me in. I was like, I was like, I got you, bro. I go by Q. You get me? Now, after I wrote I go by Q, that was the last time I even heard of this dude. Like, that was the last time we spoke. That was the last time. I got a DM from him and all that. Now, from this time period on May 7th at 338, at 343, that's when I wrote I go by Q. He done post stories. He done post pictures and deleted them. He done post uh like like his like his songs on the stories, you know, basically basically and stuff like that. And I was wondering, I was like, bet, bro. I was like, I wasn't tripping because I know he said he was busy. Basically, when he said, I'm going to hit you up tonight when I'm not that busy. So, obviously, he was busy, whatever, trying to get his music out there. I was like, all right, cool. You know what I'm saying? He's still working on himself, you know, trying to promote his music. So, I wasn't tripping at the time. Then, when time go by, you feel me? Time go by. Time, time just shoot. My phone about to die. Time go by and stuff. And uh, now it's like the next day yo. The next day over, so it's May 8th, 2 o'clock p.m. I was like, you able to talk now, bro. Then I post, I just reposted his little song or whatever the case might be. So I was like, well, let me show y'all this. I was like, you able to talk now? That's me reposting his little song or whatever. And that's what I wrote after that. And as you can see, I called him so many times, bro. No answer. No reply. No reply. No nothing. I wrote that. I wrote, yo, bro, you know what I'm saying? On May 12th, this is May 12th now. I was like, yo, bro, no answer. On May 13th, I was like, hey, what's up, bro? You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm just blowing them up. You know what I'm saying? I'm just blowing up. Then I called him again. Called him again. No respond back. Then I put question marks. And I called him again. Called him again. Then I, run, I was like, uh, yo, what's going on, bro? You know what I'm saying? Same day. You know, on the 14th. I've been, I've been hitting this man up for like a week straight, bro. On the, on the May 14th, I was like, yo, it's on this store, as you can see, on this store. I don't know if y'all can see it, but it's in this store. I was like, yo, and I called him again. I called him again, then I wrote that. I was like, you got the contract written up, bro, we ready to sign it. You get what I'm saying? Like, what's up, bro? Like, you taking all day, shouldn't take no week to, you know what I'm saying, make a contract up. You should take, like, a couple of days, but you took a whole, you know what I'm saying? Like, now at this point, I'm getting mad. I'm getting frustrated. I really want to call this dude up, like, what's up? But I know he ain't going to answer, because that was usually what, you know what I'm saying, what niggas do when they scared of, no, no, they just really ran off on the plug. So, basically, whatever you bought with that 150, nigga, I bought, I bought you that. So, I'm your daddy now, you know what I'm saying? You my JR now, basically. But anyways, I caught him. You know what I'm saying? Did that, some some my little thing to him, whatever. Still calling him, wrote a nice little paragraph saying, yo, what's up, DJ? We ready to sign that contract. My phone just died, damn. So I was like, basically I said, what's up, DJ? Man, we ready to sign, sign our contract. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Basically hit me up whenever you got a chance or whatever. My phone died. You know what I'm saying? My phone just died, whatever. So boom. So after that, man, I just kept on calling him, calling him, calling him, whatever. And uh, he would not answer me, man. So at this point, at this point now, I know after the, like the third day, I'm trying to contact dude, and he wasn't answering. I know he, I right, like that. He just, he just really finessed us out of 150, bro. Out of 150, bro, that make you broke. You know what I'm saying? That, uh, I never heard of bro. I never heard of them until I seen uh, the, uh, DJ did a little prank on them about breaking their phones or whatever. But. He was doing business with them, so I thought everything was legit, but I guess not, bro. So if you live in Atlanta, bro, you got to make sure, bro, or if you're doing promote, 
promotion period with any big YouTuber, make sure man they're really legit. Do all the different type of research. If they known for scamming, if they not known for scamming, or they really mean business on what they say they're gonna do, make sure you do your research because a lot of these folk is really really scamming out here. And DJ bro, you was the last person who I thought you were the last person I thought you was scamming or whatever. And uh you was really cool, bro, but now you on you on some other stuff, man. Yeah, bro, I ain't gonna say what I'm gonna do because at, at right now I can't really do nothing. You already got the 150. You done bent been spun the 150 like three two weeks ago, so it's nothing that I can do from there. But I know whatever you bought, just know your daddy bought that. I bought that for <laughs> you. Get what I'm saying? But anyway, that's really all the you know what I'm saying the little receipts I got right there. My phone that I can't really show you everything else, but um, most likely I'm probably going to add the the other half of the receipts that I didn't show probably either at the end of this video or I just might just let it play out. I don't know. But anyways, bro, that's the end of the video, man, right here. I want y'all to go ahead and spam this video up and drop comments if you if you think I'm, you know what I'm saying? Drop whatever comment you feel like, you know, you want to drop, man. Whatever you think, please say it down in the comment section below. Follow us on our social media, man. We lit, we lit, we lit. Bang just comment, you know, all 2020, like I always like to say, man. Um, yeah, bro, DJ, you wrong for that, bro. And, uh, God be, you know what I'm saying? May God be with you, bro. We gone.